Hi, I'm Larry Queen. I've been a music journalist for most of my adult life. Over the years, I've interviewed everyone from Sonny Rollins to Henry Rollins. In my family, the best conversations always happened over dinner. So why not head into the restaurants of New York City to meet the chefs, tour the kitchens, and interview the bands over a meal? Soundbites is a result of pursuing that dream for the past 10 years. So now you're invited to the table. It's time to eat. Welcome to Sound Bites. We've got a great show lined up for you tonight. First, we're going to meet up with the Fountains of Wayne and Chef Jeffrey Cooter Coon, who's going to give us a backstage pass into the kitchen. All right, first, what we got is a beef brisket. We take a, it's about 11, 12 pound brisket. What we like to do is, uh, is for the long cooking time, as some of this end is thin, some of it's thick, we like to even it out. This happens to be the Fountains of Wayne's favorite restaurant in the entire city. Okay, I'm there to blow up. Good. Beautiful. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. As you see, the uh, wow, you get that Look nice that. cherry, cherry mahogany color. Uh -huh. You get that nice bend in the rib. Right. That's sexy, sexy meat right there. <laughs> yeah, sexy. Let's go ahead and head out. Guys, you hungry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. That's an art. He's an art. Yes. Yeah, it's good, right? Huh? Yeah, I had no musicians in my family. My life story is different from that. It's more like turn down the music so because we can't hear the TV. I mean, there was always music in my house. I don't think they ever pushed me one way or the other, but I definitely grew up in a house where there was music playing and, and they played instruments. and kind of sound more like most people fail and it's, it's not a practical thing to decide to do, but as long as you're aware of that... That's bullshit. That's what I said. I was like, <laughs> <"Whoa."> <laughs> like <"Whoa." Mac and cheese, please. Thank you. Here you go, man. My father was a musician, certainly supportive of it. I mean, I wish he had sort of said, don't do this. <laughs> right. But he did. If you have a fairly supportive, you know, family this unit with a good record collection, you're probably not going to be that shitty of a musician. These gents are handy with the instruments, but we're pretty handy with the, the old scimitar. That's your instrument. I had a, a drum teacher, and after taking lessons with him for about two weeks, he started saying, like, hey, what are you doing Friday night? He's like, well, I, I, do you want to play this country gig fill in for me on Friday night? And I'm like, well, do you think I can handle it? He's like, yeah, man, you got it. You're doing harder stuff than that. <laughs> you got it. And I'd show up, and the band would be there, and they'd be like, hey, where's Pete? <laughs> <laughs> like For the, Pete's sake. Then I get my ass kicked all weekend. There's subjects you're broaching on this record that are different. The same old shit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> How would you describe well, the record? Well, cemetery guns. Same old shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> same <laughs> shit, different record. <laughs> I'm Larry Queen, and this has been Soundbites. <laughs>